Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christina and I make videos all about saving money, paying off debt, and living your best life in the process. If those topics sound interesting to you, make sure to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up because it really supports the channel and I really appreciate it. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about part-time or side jobs that you can do in addition to your full-time job so that you can make and save extra extra money. It's very common these days for people to have side hustles and for people to have multiple streams of income. But if you're someone who's not necessarily interested in starting your own business or building a side hustle from the ground up, a part-time job can be a really great way to make some extra money without having to start from scratch. Part-time jobs are a quick and easy way to make extra cash so that you can reach your financial goals. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. The first part-time job idea that I want to chat about is being a sales associate in a retail store. When I was in university, I spent a couple years as a sales associate. I worked at the store La Vie en Rose. It's a lingerie and pajama store here in Canada, and I'm not sure if they have any locations in the US, but I really enjoyed working at this store and working as a sales associate. It was really fun helping people shop and putting together different outfits, and it didn't even really feel like work because I was friends with a lot of the people that I worked with. It kind of just felt like hanging out and then working a little bit in the process. The scheduling was really flexible, which I liked, so as I said, I did this job while I was in university and I got to go to work after class and during the evenings and on the weekends. So there was plenty opportunity for me to balance my work schedule with my school schedule. Another part-time job that you can try is being a barista at a coffee shop. My brother actually worked at Starbucks in the past and he had such a good experience. He loved working there. So if you like coffee and you really like the coffee shop atmosphere, maybe you could try being a barista. Another side job you can try out that I've heard is very profitable is being a photographer. Now this side job might come with a little bit more investment and training involved, but if you are interested in photography, I really think that it could be worth starting a side photography business. People are always looking for photographers for everything from engagement shoots to professional headshots to newborn baby photos. There is so much opportunity to make money as a photographer on the side. So if coffee's not really your thing, but alcohol is, consider being a bartender as a part-time job. I think bartending would be such a good job for someone who's naturally a night owl and enjoys being awake during the night. And the other good thing about bartending is that it's very much an evening and weekend industry. You also get tips, which is a very big bonus because tips add up quickly as an extra source of income. So yeah, I think bartending would be worth a shot if you like being awake at night and you're also like a people person and you enjoy that high paced atmosphere. Another part-time job I had while I was in university was a server at a sushi restaurant. And I will always recommend serving as a way to make some quick cash. Kind of like bartending, there's lots of work in the evenings and on the weekends as a server, and the tips help so much when you're trying to make extra money. I remember there were plenty of nights that I would leave a shift with a couple extra hundred dollars in my pocket, and I was so excited. The amount of money you make in tips also fluctuates depending on how high-end the restaurant is that you work at. So if you work at a really fancy restaurant, you can make so much money in tips, it's insane. Another side job that I want to mention in this video is childcare and babysitting. And the good thing about this part-time job is that you can actually do it in your own home. If you want to start babysitting as a way to make some extra income, I would recommend putting a post on Facebook for your friends to see, just saying that you're available evenings and weekends. If anybody wants to take a little bit of time off from their family, go out and do something fun, and you can step in and help with childcare. Another thing that you can do is join some local childcare and babysitting groups in your area. You can write up a little introductory post post and offer your services. Another part-time job idea that I have for you is being a cleaner. You can clean people's houses or you can clean buildings. And one of the things that makes cleaning really appealing to me is that you don't have to deal with people. After you've been working your full-time job all day and you've been talking to people all day, it's nice to just have a little bit of a break. And if you're going to a part-time job during the evenings, it's nice to just be able to do work on your own and not have to talk to anybody. So if you do wanna start your own part-time cleaning business, you could definitely do this. But I know there's lots of cleaning companies in the Halifax area that are always hiring people to help out. So you could just do a quick Google search for your area and see if there's anyone hiring cleaners and you could do this as a part-time job. 
Another group of part-time jobs that have become so popular in the last couple years and even more popular with the pandemic are food delivery drivers. You could work for DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, Skip the Dishes. There are so many food delivery services out there, you just have to pick one and put in your application. Another part-time job that I see advertised all the time on job sites are part-time stock clerks and overnight stock clerks. Basically, all you're doing is working at a grocery store or a department store and you're receiving stock off trucks and then putting that stock on the shelves for customers to buy. So kind of like the cleaning job, if you don't want to work with people, a stock clerk could be a really good job for you to make some extra money. I've even seen some stock clerk positions advertised that they start at 4 a.m. in the morning. So this is potentially something that you could do even before your full-time job starts during the week. So now that I've given you lots of ideas for part-time jobs that you can start in addition to your full-time job, I wanna make sure that I remind you guys to take care of yourself, listen to your body and your mental health, and don't overwork yourself if you feel like you're starting to burn out. Sometimes our society can glamorize overworking, and I really like the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup, because it's so true and all the money in the world isn't worth it if you're stressed out and you're unhappy. It's important to listen to your mind and your body when you're making changes in your life, but if you do have some financial goals that you're really trying hard to meet, you wanna save and make more money, a part-time job can be a really great way to do that. So if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you're new. Down below in the description, I have my Etsy shop, my Instagram page, my Facebook page, all of that stuff that you need to find me in other parts of the internet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.